We are on the Broad River and we are looking for Christmas starters. Either Christmas starters or turquoise starters or sandbar shiners. Those are the only few I can think of at the moment, but we'll probably see a lot more down there like red lips and whatnot. So without further ado, let's get started. So upon further inspection, I think this little vertical boy here is a, a bluehead chub. Yep, I forgot that there are chubs in here. So that's what that is, a little chubby. And where, there it goes. <laughs> My goodness, that fish is running. Too. Ooh, what is that? Is this a blast? It is a piece of glass. Who would have guessed? Okay, I see a turquoise starter. Uh, that's definitely turquoise. It ain't that big of a turquoise, but it's definitely turquoise, so I'll take it. Let's get it. I think it's a red lip. Not not a red lip, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, what should we call it? A yellowfin chonner. It's a yellowfin. Very pretty yellowfin. Yeah. This turquoise starter is giving me problems, but I'm determined to catch it. We're going to catch this freaking thing. That's going to be glorious, so let's do it. I really, I really hope my camera was recording. Oh gosh, look at that fish. Oh, it, it, ooh, it fell off. <laughs> yes, 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 very yes. All the yeses. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is so freaking gorgeous. Okay, photo time. Photo time. All right, well, there's our gorgeous little turquoise starter. Uh, it's in the subgenus Ethiosma of the genus Ethiosma. So it's very close related to like greenside darters and swanoa darters. But my goodness, that thing, it isn't really flexing in, in, 
isn't really flexing its anal fin right now. Let's see if we can make it do that. But you can see there's a lot of turquoise on there. Just not showing it at the moment. So that turquoise starter is freaking gorgeous. I don't know if I can get a prettier one than that. I'm fairly certain I can get a bigger one, but not, I don't know about prettier. But uh, while I was looking at the turquoises up in that riffle over there, I saw at least one, like just absolutely lit up, completely red, like redded out yellowfin shiner swim past me. So I think I'm just gonna walk downstream for a little bit now and try and see if I can't spot any uh, chub mounds with red with uh, yellow fins on them. So let's go do that. All right, here's a little water snake in here. Very cool. I think it went downstream though. <laughs> oh, I do not like snakes in the water. But I've never been bit by a snake in the water. Only a uh, a swim with snakes. And usually they're they're quite tame in the water. That one looks rather rather amped up. Well, I think that's the video right there. Um, I, only three species of fish. It's bluehead chub, uh, yellowfin shiner, and what was the other one? Turquoise darter. That's a new species. That's number 221, I believe. And my GoPro just turned off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out. Unfortunately, it's a short video. There's nothing I really, there's not a whole lot of fish here. Obviously there's trout. I've been finding some, some sexy little trout lures. There you go. Only two of them, and they like six bucks. So that's another six dollars richer I am, and probably about nine dollars poorer in gas it took to get here. But I am richer in experiences, and that's what really counts. And I hope you all get out there once this quarantine stuff is ending, and also become richer in your experiences.